Hey guys, welcome to my January favorites, my first favorites video of 2014. So I'm going to start off with two revisited items and I know I've mentioned these in favorites videos before but I had not used them or purchased them in a long long time and I've just gone back to them. They are my shampoo and conditioner which are by Ozzy. So this is the shampoo, this is Miracle Moist Shampoo for hair that's dry, damaged and a bit unhappy. No other shampoo and conditioner actually used together. No matter how expensive, cheap, whatever, like I've tried all ends of the spectrum. I've tried really expensive ones that my hairdressers have recommended to me and then really cheap like drugstore kind of ones that are really bad for your hair. This is pretty cheap. You can get these at Tesco. I get these when I'm grocery shopping so they're really easy to pick up and they don't cost a lot but they work like a charm. My hair just feels so, feels and looks so amazing when I use these products. So my hair is dry and it really needs the added moisture so that's why I use the, the moisture or the Miracle Moist and then for my conditioner because I only wash my hair twice a week I wash it on Mondays and Thursdays and that's it because it's so dry I use the 3 Minute Miracle Reconstructor and this is a deep conditioner for damaged hair I use a lot of heat on my hair not like a ton every single day but I do use heat on my hair so I want to kind of protect it from that and protect it from looking dry or brittle or anything. This stuff is amazing, it makes your hair feel so soft. What you do is just put it in and leave it for three minutes and it works amazing. So this month I had a whole lot of skincare items that I got new and that I wanted to talk about. It was all about the skincare even more so than hair care or makeup this month. So I'm going to start with body because as you guys know I am 8 months pregnant so I've been really watching the stretch marks and I haven't gotten any new ones yet but fingers crossed I won't get any more. But the products that I've been using for my belly and actually also just the rest of my body in general are the ESPA Nourishing Body Oil. Now this is unscented although I can smell like a scent. It's not a strong scent but I mean I still think it has a scent even though it says unscented. It's got jojoba, sweet almond oil, calendula, uh, grapeseed oil, it's rich in vitamin E and it's safe to use during pregnancy and it's supposed to prevent stretch marks. Now this stuff is so luxurious. I know that these products, the ESPA products are expensive. I get these at the spa that I go to and that's how I got into them in the first place. I just fell in love with the stuff when they started using it on me and then I couldn't say no to them anymore. So now I'm hooked. I use this in conjunction with another product just so that I can get more out of the product. So they last about a month when I do this. I use it with the ESPA Smooth and Firm body butter and this is extremely rich formula. This makes you feel like you've just come out of the spa or you it just it's such amazing stuff. I can't express enough how addicted I am to this. It costs like 78 euros for one pot. Now it is a big pot, it's 180 mils, but at the same time that's a lot of money. So if you use it with this one, it will last you longer. The next thing is a cleanser and it's Estee Lauder's Perfectly Clean. This is new because I was using another one that was like super old and I had just started using it having had it in my collection for so long and then when I went to repurchase this was what they had out. So this is their multi-action foam cleanser or purifying mask. So you can use this as a regular cleanser, it's for normal combination skin which my skin is like combination, it's normal oily. So I use it at night time with my Clarisonic and in the morning time as soon as I get up and then twice a week I use this as a mask so I just leave it on for I think it's three minutes. I use it in the shower and leave it on for three minutes and that's my mask. This has been working perfect for me. I haven't had any breakouts, thank God, or anything like that. And I like how clean my skin feels afterwards. The next thing is the Estee Lauder Daywear Moisturizer. Now this is a repurchase. I think I got this last month as well, but I don't think I mentioned it. So this is just their daily moisturizer. You can use it at night, night time too though. This again is for normal combination skin. I just like how it makes my skin feel and I have been having dryness here just because of I think the weather or maybe it's hormones. I'm not really sure and when I add a little bit more 
it's cleared it up. Also by Estee Lauder is this Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. Now, I went looking for an eye cream. I turned 26 last year, so I wanted to kind of be more preventative with, you know, under eye wrinkles and things like that. And I was recommended this because it's not as heavy as an eye cream, it's a serum, but it's for that age when you're just starting to get into anti-aging products and you know you don't need like as heavy a formula but you still want to do something preventative so this is amazing stuff it feels so good on my skin I will say that I've used the advanced night repair their you know their serum the one for the face and it broke me out and it just did not agree with me so this one on the other hand works perfectly well I just use one pump on my ring finger and then apply it around my eyes at nighttime and in the morning and it doesn't like sit under your makeup or look funny or look greasy or anything like that it dries into your skin and it looks perfect and it's lightweight I love it on my lips I have been using this you guys aren't even gonna be able to see this and I can't do the whole fancy like autofocus thing but this is dr. lips original nipple balm for lips. It's 100% natural and I got this, it's so tiny, I got it as a sample in a glossy box but I only started using it last month and this is so amazing for dry lips or chapped lips in the winter time. I really recommend it. But every single night I had been applying this to my lips. Now it does look like, I mean it's lanolin, it's that cream that you use on your nipples if they're cracked or if you're breastfeeding and you know you need to kind of sort that out that's what it's for so it's very very thick it's like honey or syrup or something on your lips so you want to use it at nighttime where nobody can actually see you because it does look a bit goopy when it's on but I swear to you guys every single morning when I woke up after using this my lips felt so nourished. They didn't feel goopy after waking up, they just felt really smooth, silky, and I never had any problems, which is rare for me in the winter time with like chapping or anything. The next thing I was kind of dubious about whether I was going to mention, because I think I've mentioned this before, and it's not really even a winter time shade, but I got so many questions about this shade of nail polish that I was wearing last month and it's that whitey pink shade like a lot of people thought it was white but it was actually a really pale pink this is Essie's Fiji and I did wear this I kind of just gravitated towards this color because I kind of got sick of the darks um, and I wanted something to just brighten my day and <laughs> brighten everything up so this is a perfect summer color probably but you know if you want it have that pick me up I think it it works so Essie's Fiji it lasts almost two weeks like this whoops <laughs> excuse me this nail polish is just amazing in terms of how long it lasts and it doesn't chip easily at all last but not least is one makeup item I got a new lip gloss I had wanted this lip gloss probably since Kim Kardashian mentioned it all those years ago when she did a makeup video I think this is NARS Turkish Delight and you can get these at ASOS, that's where I got mine. I am not a huge lip gloss lover, I'm more into lipstick and I don't usually change my lipstick ch shades, they're always like a nude pink. But I just pop this, I will just show you guys, over top of, right now I'm wearing Airy Fairy by Rimmel. And it doesn't change the colour really but it just gives that added plumpiness that I want sometimes. Sexy bombshell look. I don't know how to even describe it but it's just that perfect nude opaque shade that will go with any nude lipstick. The one thing I will say about it is that it does not smell nice. I don't like the smell of this at all. It smells like a cleaning product or something and not in a good way. Those were my favorites. I will put pictures and all the information on my blog. Everything will also be in the description box if you're interested. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.